à l'environnement déposera son rapport. Dans le passé, il a vertement critiqué les conservateurs pour leur inaction face au changement climatique. Encore aujourd'hui, des experts nous apprennent que la fonte des glaces limite les opportunités de chasse pour les ours polaires, ce qui affecte négativement leur fécondité et leur progéniture. Est-ce que les conservateurs attendent que les ours polaires disparaissent avant d'agir face au changement climatique? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our government's record is clear. We have taken decisive actions on the environment while protecting our economy. Everyone internationally has to do their fair share, and Canada is doing its part, and we'll, we've only emit uh, 2 percent of the global greenhouse gas emissions. So building on our record, I also announced a number of actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and pollutions from vehicles. A few weeks ago, I also announced our intent to regulate HFCs, one of the fastest growing greenhouse gases in the world, and we are accomplishing all of this without introducing an NDP job-killing carbon yeah, tax, yeah, which yeah, raises the price of it. The Honourable Member for Halifax. The question was about polar bears, and it's not an issue for debate. This research was carried out over three decades, and the implications are... Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Halifax still has the floor. Order. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's difficult to hear, but the research was carried out over three decades and the implications are clear. Polar bears are getting smaller and so is their population. And we know that climate change is very likely a major factor. While other nations are taking action on this, our government refuses to take action. So let's put aside the question of whether or not this minister believes in climate change and I'll ask her this. Will she address this serious issue and fund polar bear research and monitoring? Here, here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm looking forward to releasing a, a report that um, was just concluded last week. Canada has one of the best polar bear management systems right. in the world. And last week I had the pleasure of meeting all the Inuit leaders of Canada, including the First Nations of Northern Ontario, to go for in developing our go forward plan in polar bear management and conservation. Our government's polar, uh, position on the polar bear management and conservation no is based on science and Inuit traditional knowledge that those members have ignored for years. Sure.